Hi everyone, Redneck Computer Geek here. So we're off on a tractor hunt in order to go get a Craftsman. It sounds as if the motor may have decided to give up the ghost on this guy. He says that he was mowing perfectly fine, it was driving perfectly fine, he had just put tubes in the tires and everything, and then all of a sudden it just stopped. Um, he sent me a couple of pictures, I'll post them up right now. It sounds as if it's a pretty decent little machine. I apologize for the video quality right now. I forgot to grab my camera, so we're doing this intro on my cell phone. But we'll switch over to better quality video right now. So what we have here is just your standard, regular Craftsman LT1000. Nothing too major. This one, it ended up having a Kohler in it. A lot of them come with a 15.5 Briggs, or they come with a 17. It just basically depended on what craftsman happen to feel like throwing in at the time now the guy says that he put brand spanking new tubes in here he got it up and running he was mowing with it and it just plain stopped now if we open the hood again what's interesting about just plain stopped is that this has compression uh, and turns over and you can hear it so I don't think he threw a rod. I'm going to bet it's probably some electrical gremlin, most likely. These Craftsmans are notorious for having the little white safety sensors end up failing. There's one on the deck area. There's another one on the shift area. There's another one on the seat. And there's another one that's in this engagement column. And when one of those fails or just happens to come loose or snap off the little bracket that they're on, it kills the machine instantly. So we're going to try double checking that right off the bat. We're going to go grab our booster pack. We're going to disconnect this wiring harness here. We're going to disconnect this. We're going to put a positive here. We're going to ground it out here. And we're going to see if we end up with life here. interesting we can take five seconds right now to pull the spark plug and see if we have spark because obviously it sounds like it's got compression coming out the exhaust so we'll just take a sec all right so we got a brand spanking new champion rc12 plug we got our adu booster pack with manual boost override hooked up let's try this again Nothing at all. So at this point, I'm going to bet it's probably a fried coil. We'll get one ordered up and we'll try this again in a little while. So this is the kit I'm going to be using to revive this machine. As always, if you check in the description of the video, you'll be able to find the link for my Amazon associate to be able to purchase one yourself. We're gonna be rebuilding this motor with this kit and setting it back up. Rather, not rebuilding, tuning up and reviving. Hi, right, so I just got done on shooting a how-to video on being able to go and rip this electronically controlled coil thing out and put in a regular normal setup. But just to give you guys some gumption, Oh, getting close. Even closer. Very close. So obviously at this point, we're back to our standard arch nemesis, the carburetor. 
Now I've got a brand new one that I can throw on here that came with the kit that I was talking about earlier. All right, so we got the carb out of the kit on there. We got the coil out of the kit on there. We got the spark plug out of the kit on there. We got our gas hooked up with a little bit in the tank for fresh fuel. Let's see what it does. No starter fluid. Let's just see if it'll kick on its own. So now we'll work on a boring oil change and strapping this filter on that came in the kit. And then we'll see if we can get it cutting. Well, we got in underneath and took a look at the deck. Ended up coming out okay. We sharpened up the blades. And the deck actually looks in pretty solid condition. And I was happy to see that it looks like the belts are in good condition as well. As you can see. There we are. <laughs> Not bad. So as you can see with a little spit shine and polish it came out pretty decent. One of the things that I do when I'm dealing with paint that was as far and as behind as this paint is, is I go over it with some simple green and I scrub out every bit of mildew and all that kind of stuff and then I go back across it with a wash and wax mix from AutoZone whatever their cheapest brand is that I can grab at the time I'll post a link down below on what I usually use in order to clean these up the other thing that I'll use sometimes is I'll do these with tire polishing spray usually the 3M because it tends to be the cheaper spray but it works really good and it takes off all of the mold buildup that ends up in these. You can see here there used to be a ring that came all the way around and I was able to scrub out the front side of the ring. This one's just a little bit too embedded. And as far as the motor goes, it's all cleaned up. Got all of the carburetor stuff done to it. We're going to be putting on an oil filter. I'll include links in the description if you're working on one of these yourself. We've got it converted over to a regular standard coil instead of the EFI, um, the uh, oh, magneto controlled coil that was in it. It probably will need a starter eventually. I might end up swapping that out before I sell the machine, do a how to video on that. So, this is a CV16S. Now, the CV series shares the same exact carburetor and coil with the 14 and the 12.5 also, just so that you know in the future. And so, we did the dash up. It was all rusted. We painted it up a little bit with some Rust-Oleum double coverage. That works pretty good. And in the back... We've got pretty decent tires going on. So there we are. The deck is just starting to rust. It could use a top coat, but at this point, as far as what I'm going to do to be able to sell the machine, I'm gonna call this good. I'll probably list it somewhere in the $400, $450 range. And 
take the first person that offers a reasonable 350 or so. The blades are older and definitely more original than I would like. So I might end up discounting it a bit because of that. Thanks for supporting the channel. We're going to get back to doing the gas powered power wheel and the red electric tractor pretty soon. Watch for upcoming videos and subscribe. Have a good day.